guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are safe and healthy out there and i hope you guys are ready to hear honestly some say a funny some say an interesting some say an unfortunate story honestly it just kind of depends but i hope you guys are ready to dive right into this story time about the time that i met kiki palmer all right so Kiki Palmer was coming for a Black History Month event in Ottawa. That's why I had to jump onto this because Ottawa, why, why, why were you coming? But like, I wasn't mad because I love Kiki Palmer. First of all, this is a Kiki Palmer stan account. I love her. She's literally been everything to me since I was a kid. Like I was so excited when I saw that she was coming to Ottawa because why would she come here? Like actually, why would she come here? But I'm not mad you know what i mean anyways so kiki palmer she was on the list of people coming to this event and i told my friend we have to go we have to go so we bought our tickets i bought a new dress you know i i got my hair done i was like oh my gosh i have to like practice my makeup because honestly me and makeup I, it's 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 been a journey you know we're still learning we're still learning we're still getting there but at that time Literally a year ago being that time, I was like, I have to make sure I'm looking nice. I, have to, I don't know. I don't know. I was just like, I have to look nice. For my girl Kiki, obviously, but whatever. So um, the day finally came and I had class from like 8 a.m. until like around 3. And I got back home and my friend was supposed to come over so we could get ready together. And then she called because she needed a ride. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll come get you. <sighs> Driving back. We fell into some traffic. And this is where the day started to take a turn. This is where things started to, to go downhill. Anyway, so we get back here and I'm like, oh, like now we have to rush, but you know what, we'll do it. I don't wanna be late. Honestly, because why are we always late? Like we actually need to break the cycle of lateness. It's not helping anybody. And I was honestly like, you know what, even if I'm gonna be late, which I really did not want to be, like I'm sure the event's gonna be late, you know what I mean? But anyways, we need to break that, we need to break that in this generation. Anyways, so we start to get ready and the events were supposed to start at seven and I wanted to leave by 6.30 just to get a good parking spot and you know, get there on time. So we're getting ready and I get a call from my parents and they're like, oh, can you take your brother to practice? And I'm like, You know, I, I just I just put the concealer on like my face is not. You know what? I literally just hopped in the car. I was looking like a hot mess, but I hopped in the car, got my brother in there, took him to practice, came back and I was like, oh, my gosh, like we literally the event was starting in 20 minutes. We still had not left the house. I was nowhere near getting ready. And I was like, oh, my gosh, like we are going to be late. So finally, we ended up leaving the house around maybe like 7.15 and I was like, oh, like, <laughs> Kiki, you know, but whatever. We got there and had the event started. No, you know what? I was, I was not mad. I was actually not mad, but we got there and the parking was all full. So I parked on the street and we sat down and we got ready and finally, Kiki Palmer came out on stage and I was just like, wow, like she's so beautiful. She's so cute and petite, you know, like, uh, like highlight. I was so gassed. I was honestly just so happy. I was like, ah, uh. even though I couldn't really see her, like I forgot my glasses in the car. So I couldn't actually really see her with my own eyes, but I was like, wow, I'm seeing this girl with my eyes. My eyes are seeing this girl, Kiki Palmer, in the flesh so I was like this is amazing and the night went on and they said okay some of you guys are gonna get to meet her and I'm like what do we have to do to meet her this is honestly this next part this is the moral of the story I'm telling you guys this right now so when we walked into the event they had a table with Kiki Palmer's book and there was free copies free copies of this book you know what let me let me get this book all right this 
book right here. So they had this book sitting on the table. They said free copies, grab one if you want. I love to read. Like reading is, it's a pastime. It's a hobby, you know? Honestly, reading is just magical to me. And so I saw a book, Kiki Palmer, Kiki Palmer's book. I was like, <laughs> give me one. So I grabbed one. And then it turned out to be the reason why I got to meet her. So more of the story, you guys should like to read books because maybe you too will be able to meet Kiki Palmer or celebrity, whatever. So <laughs> I got in line. Look at look at my autograph. Like look at my autograph. Anyways, so I got there. I walked into the room. Kiki Palmer was there. Her mom was there. They were like, "Oh, your dress is so beautiful. You look so nice." And I was just there, like <sighs> Kiki Palmer and her mom. Wow, wow. Anyway, she was amazing. She was so sweet, like she's just so nice. Like, oh, just such good vibes, honestly. Like, wow. That was like, that was literally the highlight. Like my night went like sh through the roof. I was like, this, this is literally the greatest day ever, ever. Oh my gosh. Anyways, so it was time to leave. Me and my friend were going home and we're walking to the car and then my friend screams. And I'm like, but why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Glass everywhere. Someone had broken into my car. Someone had smashed the passenger door window of my car, broken in, and stole all her stuff. See, this is the thing. They stole all of my friend's stuff. They didn't steal any car parts. They didn't steal like sunglasses and other things of mine that I had in the car or I had like a Bluetooth speaker in the car. They did not steal that. They stole my friend's makeup, her clothes, and her wallet. And we were so shook. We were so shook. It was scary. It was nighttime. It was February, minus 38 degrees, like freezing cold, glass everywhere. It was honestly a mess. Like I was like, but I just met Kiki Palmer, but someone broke into my car. But Kiki Palmer, but car. Kiki Palmer, but someone broke into my car. You know what I mean? It was a very confusing time. But anyways, we we finally got back in. I dropped her off at home and I was making my journey back home. The glass everywhere. To this day, honestly, I'm sure I could probably find some pieces. Like even months after we got the glass cleaned up and the car vacuumed, there's still little pieces of glass everywhere, you know, and it was it was it was messy, but as I was driving back home, you know, the window was smashed. The window was smashed, and so there was just cold air blowing in, snow, wind, everything. Everything you could expect on a cold Canadian winter night. Minus 42 with the wind chill whipping through the car. And I had the heat on, but the heat was just going through the, it was just going through the window. It was honestly a waste, but yeah. That is the story of the day that I met Kiki Palmer with a twist, with a little twist at the end. And that was that. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my story or at least found it interesting. And if you wanna hear more stories like these, see reviews, see hauls, like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on my socials so you're staying up to date. And I hope you guys stay blessed and I will see you guys soon.